is an island that you can send your dogs to. And when you do, they never come back. <laughs> they live on this island and free forever. Was there, like, I think it's in the logo still, that free forever. So we have this form, send us your dog. Like, how many dogs are you going to send us? <laughs> and, um, and we really committed to probably sick of us and some psychological defect that, that we had. But we answered every email that came in. <laughs> and people, as soon as they're like, and then, and so, it, it's not that well organized. But we realized that there's this quadrant that you can do with, at least with hoax projects, it works with a lot of viral projects in general, but definitely with hoax projects. And so on one side, it's love and hate. And on the other side, it's belief and disbelief. And pretty much, Dog Island was this beautiful thing where it like put everyone in a corner. So um, for example, so some people believed it. For real, they believed it and they loved it. And they would send us, this is my dog, and he would be so happy there. <laughs> and then we would reply with like, your dog looks like it has too much fur, and like, oh, you won't be that happy here, like, I think you're making a mistake. But they'd be like, no, 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 you don't understand, he'd be so happy there. And like, we, we just, to kind of try to make it feel real, we added also like, we found all these photos of like dogs being shipped over and like, <laughs> you know, and, and people, so there were people who truly believe like this is a paradise for dogs <laughs> and I must get my dog there. There was a little bit of a sad note with like people who were like elderly and they're like, my do I'm gonna pass away before my dog does. And then we had a crisis of uh, like, oh fuck, did we let them know? <laughs> so we just like really struggled with that group. So if you see like in the form, there was this extra addition that it was like, is there some terrible urgency? We Hate Urgency was about this, like, I'm about to die, like, that's the last email we want to get, but we didn't want to break their hearts either of, like, this is all a hoax, you've been tricked, so, but anyway, that's the belief and love quadrant. Then there were people who believed it and hated it. And it was our fault. We did encourage it. Like, if DNS, we registered it to Han Fei and Zhao Min. If you Google Han Fei and Zhao Min, they own a dog meat company. <laughs> so we planted that seed. <laughs> and then, I guess the funniest character I remember was this like 14 year old girl who was like, I know what you're doing and I'm gonna stop you. And, she, and we'd reply and we had this like story of like, listen, we stopped it with the dog meat thing <laughs> and we promised to help as many dogs as we heard. And that was like, our, <laughs> that was our line and we like tried to convince the ones who believed but hated it. But then there was also people who believed it was true, didn't think we were dog killers, but thought it was horrible. Like, dogs need companionship, they can't be on their own. And we had, we, we, the FAQ we had so much fun with because people were like, dogs get violent. Like, my, like, I like the idea, but my dog's small. Like, how is he not gonna get eaten when he goes there? And so we like, we, we talked through the like belief and hate people, and those were a lot of fun because it tended to not be like the elderly, you know, or whatever it is. Um, but on the non belief side, we, you also had the same thing where they didn't. So, for example, I have four sisters, and one of my sisters, they she totally knew it wasn't real, but she totally hated it. She just hated it. I had it for another friend hated it too because we talked about all this like dogs are not happy being on leashes you have them like slaves like we have a lot of that wording in there and like how can you do this to a dog in a city and we did the so we copied the entire new york city legislation site nyc.gov.us or whatever 
and then we changed the domain a little bit. I forget what it was, but enough that you really had to pay attention. And the whole site, we took like, we just, there's some tool that just sucks up all site now. And then we modified one bill. And we made it the top of the site, and we called it the Dog Exportation Act. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, in the site, we linked to it, and we're like, please encourage your congressman, please vote for this, it's important. <laughs> and, and we wrote the wording, so the first few paragraphs of this long legal thing was clear that all dogs would be exported from Manhattan. <laughs> We left on the bottom of it, it was a PDF that we modified, and on the bottom was the Supreme Court Justice of New York's cell phone number. Oh! So we almost were fucked with that because she was like, so I forgot how, I forgot to say how we seeded it, which was like an important little part. We went back to dirt design for that. But we thought, you know, we could just send out, like, the class knows about it and they could send out about it, but it'd be better if, like, a few strangers knew about it. So we posted to Craig, we created this site, and it, we created a character named Linda Reyes. I have no idea why, but she had this, we did a GeoCity site, like a lot of dancing kittens and stuff, <laughs> like, really ugly. And then she had three apartments. So we thought we'd get little cultures. So we got the hipsters in Williamsburg, and there was an apartment in Williamsburg that was like, and, e and one in Soho and one on the Upper West Side, I think, was our three apartments. And they were all like beautiful apartments that looked like a deal. Like, it wasn't unrealistic, but it looked like a deal. And we posted them to Craigslist with a link to her site. And then she had photos of the apartments, but then she had huge font. I was trying to look for it today because it was really fun making that site. But it, we, GeoCities turned it off really quickly because it got it got crazy traffic in its own. Um, and uh, and it had four rules. It was like before you apply to this apartment, you have to own a dog and you have to bring the dog to the interview, and then if you are accepted, then the dog will go to Dog Island. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was the link out. And like this, it was so immediate that this thing blew up. Like hours after <laughs> posting this, like the traffic was going through the roof, the emails were coming in. And uh, two days later, Craig uh, Newmark from Craigslist emailed Linda Reyes. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know who you guys are or who you are or what you're doing, but my last two days have been nothing but trying to figure out <laughs> what's going on. So, um, so you, that, that was the way that we seeded it. The New York City legislation thing got us in a lot of trouble. Because the so sh the Supreme Court Justice, I forget her name, but she fucking hated Linda Reyes. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like unsure if we should be like, it's not, because she was like, Linda, comma, return, and talking to Linda. And we were unsure if should we reveal that we're not Linda, like she is Supreme Court Justice. And, um, and she also brought, she was like, after what this city's been through, because it was like a couple months after September 11th. And so she was like really taking this shit seriously. And so we, we told her, we replied just as Linda and just crossed our fingers and said, oh, we're taking it down, we're sorry, it was a, it was a project, I'm, I'm sorry, da da da. But the PDF, one thing if you do hoaxes and ma whatever, the PDF was a nightmare because there was no taking it down. It, people were emailing it all around, so she kept getting phone calls for weeks. <laughs> and we were just really lucky that she, uh, she didn't sue us or whatever she would have done to us. But, um, but the quadrants of hate and whatever, were, so my sister falls in that category in a friend where it was like the Dog Exportation Act in Manhattan, all this slavery of dogs and all that crap, 
was like, you're making me feel guilty as a dog owner, and like, what a nasty project this is. And people felt really strongly in that category. Like, they, I, a friend from grad school was also took me aside and was like, I really want you to take the site down. And we were like, what? what? And, he, and he really was serious. Like, he's making his wife not happy, and like, all this stuff. <laughs> And, uh, and then I guess our favorite group was the bottom corner, or whatever corner you put it in, which was like, people were like, ha, 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 that's so funny, and just spreading around for, for those reasons. So um, the, the whole thing, it was definitely like Jonah described in the beginning of the class, which is that there's, like, I remember this clearly, is that there was like contagious media projects, which are like, curve like this, like useful technologies tend to be like this because they grow like mad and they're useful so they stay there. And then viral projects are like that because they're, they're like really not useful. You know? <laughs> so Dog Island was this thrilling month of ridiculousness. Um, and uh, CNN, New York Times, like they, they all wanted to visit. And uh, there was this, there was this like dilemma of like, how long do we string it out with them? A lot of people, they're like, just send us the coordinates. Like, we are CNN. Like, we can get there. So um, the other thing that we had a lot of fun with is that people who loved it would be like, listen, like, I really want to come, but I want to leave with my dog. But I'm sure my dog will be happy there. And we got so many emails about this stuff. So then they got also sort of pushy about it. Like, I've got a lot of money. Tell me what the price is. <laughs> so we created Very Rich at the Dog Island. And we were like, if you are extremely wealthy, then email Very Rich at the Dog Island. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we were like, really condescending to them because they would say they would say like one was like I was an entrepreneur I started a company a software company I've made like 10 million dollars can I please now hear the details and we would always we had characters so we had like a host of characters who would answer emails and it was great creating aliases like they had managers and everything so SUNY was our character who would be like Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Like, you, we meant very rich. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then they reply back, like, you were so rude. I want to know who your manager is. So we'd say, oh, the manager is John. And then John would reply back, we just fired SUNY. And it's like, <laughs> she's been crying. She has to be deported. She didn't have a visa. <laughs> And then they'd be like, you're horrible people! <laughs> so, um, and then we did a lot of radio shows, because that was like the right balance. Like, New York Times wanted to visit, but the radio shows, we could go on, and we went on as Han Fein Jamin, and it was, it was fairly ridiculous, but a lot of fun. Um, and so I think that's pretty much the story yep. of Dog Island. So I think if you guys have questions, I can talk about it forever. But <laughs> <laughs>